Yesterday's Fort Hood massacre is the latest in a series of attacks or conspiracies to attack troops at bases and recruiting offices here in the U.S. News 13's Caitlin McCarthy was out of Kirtland today and she says commanders there are well aware of the threat and that they do have plans to deal with it. Caitlin? Dick, after reviewing their safety and security plans, Kirtland's director of emergency operations says the base is in good shape. We reviewed the procedures that we have to make sure we were prepared for anything that might occur like that. But at the same time, the indication is that this was an isolated event at Fort Hood, and uh, we, we did not uh, take any any change, make any changes here at Kirtland. Wilson says they reviewed their active shooter response plan and went over how crews would respond in the aftermath of a Fort Hood type situation. The chief of mental health says the base offers plenty of mental health screenings and help for people who need it. And they do post-deployment health assessments and monitor the airmen constantly. Anybody who might be having any kind of trouble, um, we're all pretty attuned to it and so they're pretty quick to con consult us if needed. And the chaplain at Kirtland Air Force Base says dozens of people have come to him for prayer and reassurance since yesterday's shooting spree at Fort Hood. Dick? All right, Caitlin. Kirtland also had a moment of silence at 1234 this afternoon, the time that the Fort Hood shootings began yesterday.